the portrait of Eve Clone. Emphasizing Eve Clone's facial features through the use of 3D hologram technology, her gestures and expression are presented through a variety of angles. Each face is made of a different skin texture. As viewers look at her from these angles, they will be surprised to find that the Eve Clone continues to stare and follow the movement. On the forehead of Eve Clone, the mark of the beast, 666, which is presented in many languages, signals that those who are branded with the mark of the beast in the coming Great Tribulation will not be able to escape the devil's control, regardless of race, society, or nation. This was based from the Book of Revelation in the Holy Bible. Eve Clone Number 3 Comprised of projection shots within a hexagonal site, this large-scale interactive installation work consists of six submerged Eve Clone faces. The audience can view the faces from different angles and control the movement of Eve Clone. The background ambient sound is comprised of underwater and left to right movement noises. When viewers are inside the surroundings of the projection, it is as if they are in the treacherous environment conversing with Eve Clone. The Hands of Eve Clone Aside from being imprinted on the forehead, the mark of the beast, 666, also appears on Eve Clone's right hand. Placed in six medical jars, hands made of resin are all branded with the mark of the beast, simulating organs that are stored in formalin for experimentation. The skins of the right hands are composed of snake skin, tree bark, pupa skin, shell, metal, ore, and other materials representing the genetic mutations of Eve clone. Fingers of Eve Clone Fingers placed into medical test tubes are used to symbolize organ cloning. Each severed finger is bent and imprinted with the mark of the beast 666. The test tubes are neatly arranged like a specimen presentation. Mass production of Eve Clone. Within each digital frame, an Eve Clone floats in a test tube showing its current stage of development in the experimental process. Each Eve Clone is a different color and has the mark of the beast 666 branded on them in 18 various languages. By freezing the image to capture a 360 degree self rotating view of Eve Clone, Two characteristics of clones are represented, mass production and standardization. Inspection of Eve Clone through infrared photography, the body of Eve Clone is presented, consisting of pupa textured skin, totem tattoos, and the imprinted mark of the beast, 666. The totem tattoos consist of images of roses, dragons, phoenixes, snakes, scorpions, and more, alluding to the intrinsic relationship amongst the tattoos, the body, and Eve Clone herself.
When seen through infrared lighting, the dangerous nature of the beautiful Eve clone is revealed. The captions to the infrared photography show the Eve clone's serial number and her diagnosis state, time, and inspector. Revelation of Eve Clone Eve Clone's identity and role is defined by presenting the woman depicted in the Book of Revelation. The woman whom you saw is a great city, which reigns over the kings of the earth. Through the use of large projections and computer interactive systems, an image of an authoritative woman is shown in a self-rotating view of Eve Clone. The image is cloned and repeated in a delaying format. Displayed at the bottom of the chapter of scripts are phrases from the book of revelations in five different languages to represent a powerful nation in human history. Through this, cloning is criticized for the disasters that it will bring upon the world, just like the image of the woman depicted in the book of revelations. Furthermore, to emphasize the vitality of Eve clone, Computer-generated numbers are displayed as an indicator of her vital value. When viewers enter the site of the installation, the vital numbers will start to accumulate. As the audience leaves the installation site, the numbers stop and the Eve clone skin color begins to fade, signifying that artificial life cannot be self-sustaining. The holy hymn played in the background represents the criticization of Eve clone's artificial holiness. Documentation of the Revelation of Eve Clone After the Revelation of Eve Clone, the artist attempts to use the 2D prints to show images of Eve Clone, her vital value, and the scripts of different chapters from the Book of Revelation in five different languages. The purpose is to record Eve Clone's historical document. 